everybody welcome back to simply sarissa if today's video looks a little bit different that's because we are working from our cell phone today i broke my camera and i have to get it fixed so we are working with what we have so please just be patient in that today we are doing a target spring haul let's get right into the pants that we are wearing they come in five colors they are a linen blend and these are from a new day they are 25 dollars I purchased this really pretty oatmeal cream color because I thought it would just go really well with a more neutral palette, but yet be able to um, fit in well with the colors that are more on trend this spring and any of the pieces I already have. So um, believe it or not, I'm actually wearing a size small in these, which is not my typical size. I usually wear an eight to 10, so you can size down. And I'm a very pear shape. So for me to get into a small, that says a lot. They are also very long. I am about almost 5'9", five, 5'8 five, and a half or so, and they are uh, hitting the ground currently with me wearing flats. So if you are on the petite side, these may be something that are a bit long for you, um, but just wanted to let you know that. They do have two pockets in the front and two of the like patchwork pockets in the back. I have it paired with my time and true sandals that are just everything this season. I will say I'm not going to show you any Target shoes. I, <laughs> they're not comfortable. I just don't know what else to say about it. They have a few pieces that seemed okay and they you know, had cute styles, but it wasn't anything that I could comfortably wear and many of the shoes are heavy and that's just not something I'm happy with. So for these $15 sandals, that's pretty much what I'm gonna be showing the rest of these items with. Now let's get right into the top that I have today. This is such a great little piece and I love it because it's a beautiful pairing piece um, and it's also a good staple piece for work wear but also for casual wear. It is a mock necked, a very thinly ribbed knit type of material. I purchased it in this really pretty kind of gray lilac-y color. Love the length on this. This awesome shirt comes in five different colors. I believe they go from extra small to a double XL. And I am currently wearing, let's find this, a medium. I could have easily sized down to a small, but the reason why I decided to go with the medium is because for work wear, I don't really want everything to be kind of like skin tight. I like my stuff to kind of at least drape a little bit, especially if I'm gonna be in a professional environment. And I'm just getting to that phase of life where I just like the extra give, you know, I feel like it's gonna show love handles and stuff if it's super skin tight and I just don't need it. So I went with the medium. Let me show you the length. Again, I'm very short torsoed, so it's a little long on me, but it might be perfect for everybody else, but that's why I personally tucked it in. The mock neck is a great, great height. It's very, very comfortable. And because it's stretchy and because I went with the medium, oh, it's just really lovely. Just a quick second styling of these pants to show the versatility of them and why I love linen pants and they're always in my wardrobe is I just threw on some nude sandal heels to really kind of dress them up and show off just how beautifully they flow. I put on this beautiful little simple black peplum top from Walmart actually if you haven't seen that video I'll put the uh, link above and maybe in the description box and then I paired it with the little envelope purse that I've been talking non-stop about from Target as well so I mean this entire outfit costs way under a hundred dollars probably less than 75 total it's just an easy go-to look next up I want to show you the one dress that I got it comes in sizes extra small to 4x but let me tell you, this actually is very flexible with its sizing, if that makes sense. I went on the hunt because I tried on a size large, which I thought was closest to my size, and it was much too big. So then I thought, okay, I definitely need a medium. I couldn't find a medium anywhere, couldn't find a small anywhere. So I took a shot at an extra small and I'm squeezed into it. <laughs> now what I mean by squeezed into it is, it's really not tight on me at all and I could keep this dress, but getting in and out of it, I'm a little worried that I will eventually break the elastic on this. So I think ideally I would like a small, but because I can get into this fine and and if I can't find a, a small anytime soon, I might just keep this one, not sure. Anyway, $35, such a fun spring dress. It also comes in three 
colors. So it comes in this beautiful blue and white print, which I think is so fun. It also comes in a bubble gum, and I mean bubble gum pink, and then it comes in a black. But this is definitely something that would go into my wardrobe very easily. And I just loved the print because as you can tell, I live in solid color zones. So I do love getting a print once in a while and playing with it. Uh, what I will also say is that this is definitely not what I would call jacket friendly. They have beautiful flutter sleeves and they're actually made really well. They don't like show off a lot. Have you ever had one of those shirts that, you know, you think it's a beautiful sleeve, but then when you lift your arm up, you see like half of your side and your bra. This does not do that. But because of that, I wouldn't want to jam this into a jean jacket or anything. I think it would be uncomfortable. This would definitely be pashmina scarf territory. Now, uh, again, pop it's on this beautiful on me like a midi length I am wearing it with just some new sandal heels which are a closet staple for me I think it would be beautiful as well kind of toned down with like maybe some fun sandals and a really fun hat uh, you could also uh, pair this with the white sandals that I just featured on the last outfit and just really play up that white in this um, but again because it's such a neutral palette you could play with really fun colors. You could carry a yellow purse, red purse, you know, just the sky is the limit, hot pink, whatever fun, you know, accessories you have, you could definitely play that up with this. Uh, but let me show you the surprise. <laughs> I have my hair pulled up so that you can see. It actually is one of those tie back dresses. So it's showing skin. Um, I do have my regular bra on with it. I'm sure there's some TikTok hack on how to hide it. I do not know those hacks. But um, I would probably just wear like one of those sticky bras with it, or I guess I could tape it uh, with some fabric tape to hide my bra if I really wanted to wear it. This does fully untie, and this is fully elasticized. And so that is where the flexibility of the sizing comes in. Uh, the large, like I said, is a little too large for me. Um, I do think this dress runs large, so I would probably sit very comfortably in the small in this. But if you cannot find the exact size you think you need, I would suggest maybe sizing down one or you know just playing with the sizes if you do find one in store. Because this unties and ties, which you can loosen or tie for your bust, and then because of the elasticity on this, if you get a larger one, this is going to actually just hang a little lower on you. And then of course, if you get the tighter one like I did, it actually pulled up quite a bit higher, which I personally love because I don't wanna show the shanks off too much. So yeah, super fun dress. This next piece and actual whole outfit is inspired by one of this season's trends, which is vacation ready. And I, at first I didn't quite know what to do with that because you know we take vacations everywhere, don't we? So it really depends on what type of vacation you're all about. But of course I always lean towards warmer vacations. So these pants are so stinking cute. I got them in the swim section, which Target is going nuts right now in the swim section. I mean, they've got everything you could imagine. So I grabbed these, they are Kona Soul is their brand. Um, I'm wearing these actually in a size large, which is um, typically 12 to 14 it says, and they are $25. Now I definitely think that I could have gotten a size medium because they, they are pretty roomy. I'll take the jacket off in just a moment to show you. Um, but what I love about these particular pants is that even though they are very thin, lightweight, um, kind of that black gauzy material, again, oh, I forgot to mention, they come in five different color options, and I believe they go from like size small to 3X. So you have lots of color, or, you know, lots of choices basically in these to match your color palette for your swimwear. But back to the pants. They have that kind of wrap look to where it's going to be super sexy and most of these pieces kind of completely fly open and show off everything. These do not. These stop and they're actual pants. So I would be completely comfortable wearing these out, like truly out for the day in the heat of the summer because I'm never going to have to show any more than what I would with regular shorts. But because they're elevated and they have that fun flow to them, they also have a bow detail that's fully 
um, tieable, I guess you'd call it. And that's why I got away with the size large is because I can kind of tighten this if I need to. But see how that opens? I don't know, it's kind of hard in the, with the black material. But it just opens and then kind of bat wings out and then you just tie it in a cute knot in the front of your pants. And so it just adds that little detail. So you can kind of see it popping up in the side. So the way I styled it today was I just threw on again the white sandals and I think they work really well because I sort of did the sandwich concept with the white on the bottom and the white on the top just to pull everything together. Wearing my bag, not going to get into details, but I will say they came out with I think three to four new color options for this bag. So I think Target has realized they hit a gold mine with creating these bags. And so now for the new season, they have more options. I'll put some links below to that. But I love this because I feel like I could easily be near the beach, walking around, cozy, comfortable, ready for a breeze, but yet ready to pop into the pool or you know go on the beach and suntan if I needed to with my swimsuit. My backpack can easily, easily, easily have um, anything that I need for the beach and then you throw on your hat and you are just ready to go. So to me, this is the epitome of vacation ready. This next little vacation ready beach cover up skirt is actually from the brand Exhilaration, which is typically a um, junior size brand as well. And I don't buy a lot of them, but when I found this in the swim section, I thought it would totally work comes in two color options, black and a white. I did go with the size large, and it comes, I believe, in size, uh, ooh, I believe extra small to size large, something like that. But I think it's super cute, and I love it. Again, I have it paired over the same swimsuit, just so that you can see you know, exactly the details on it. You want the nude colored flip-flops that are from Time and True, just to keep your eye going down and kind of elongate the leg. Um, I threw on my little jean jacket because I always take a jean jacket of some form or another when I go on vacation. And then I paired it with just another one of those uh, backpack purses that I would normally carry. And you guys, my hat, sidetrack for a minute, my Banana Republic hat in this exact color and style is back in stock. They brought it back this season. I think full price is $80, but they've been having 50% off sales, like nonstop. So for 40 bucks, and they come in size small, medium, large. I'll put the link below. But again, if you want a look for less, go with one of these beautiful scoop hats from Walmart that are like 18 bucks. Next up, we have some tone on tone pieces. Let's talk about the New Day Utility Shorts. They are $20. They come in approximately five colors, I believe, and they go from sizes zero to size 18. I am wearing a size 10. I always size up in shorts. I'd rather them be a little looser than tight because shorts, especially for my body type and a pear shape, can be very difficult to wear. So I size up and I also look for the leg to actually flare out a bit because uh, I'm already working with wide hips as it is. So if I grab a pair of shorts that kind of pull in and are tight, I kind of get that sausage effect and it really is not flattering. So um, this is how it works. I believe the inseam is somewhere around four to five inches. Forgive me for not knowing that. Um, I usually just try them on and kind of do the fingertip test. If they're close to the end of my fingertips, then I feel pretty safe in that. I don't like to go anywhere shorter than that for me personally. Um, but these are so cute actually, and I almost never buy colored shorts, but I felt like these were close enough to a denim color that I could pull it off with a lot of pieces. So I have it paired today with actually a bodysuit that I will talk about in a moment. And again, threw it on with the white sandals and the blue, uh, white jacket as well. But you know, you could just as easily pair it with a hundred other things. Again, grab it a cute little uh, white purse. And I, I think if I had to choose a hat for this particular outfit, which I'm always wearing a hat, I'd probably go with the black and white and just have a little bit of fun with it because black's also a neutral. So this would be super fun. Look at that. I love the tone on tone. And again, just a super basic utility short that's under $20. They do have the, let me drop some of these extra goodies so you can see some of it. They do have um, a button front, obviously, with a zipper closure. They are um, belt friendly. So if for some reason you do have to size up for here, but it's a little loose here, a belt would really just add to the look. Um, 
The pockets are super functional. I love it. Actually have quite a bit of stretch to them as well. So I know that they're gonna give a little throughout the day and I'm gonna feel even more comfortable in them. Uh, the back does have that kind of flap pocket on it and they are fully functional. They do not have buttons. Let's talk about the bodysuit. I'm wearing it in a size large. It is $16. I believe it comes in nine color options. So again, just a wonderful staple piece to have and I love the cap sleeve on it because this can go easily under jackets, blazers, sweaters, cardigans, anything. But if you take that off, maybe if you're in the work environment, you're not wearing a full tank top, so you don't feel exposed and you're not out of dress code in any way. And because of the cap sleeve, again, it's one of those pieces that kind of makes you wider here and narrower here because it's a more fitted top. I love that because again, if I just back up, um, yeah, there you go. It kind of gives me a little bit more of that hourglass shape, even though I'm really not trying too hard. And because I'm wearing monochrome, it kind of draws the eye down. So it, you know, kind of just smooths out everything, I think, in a lot of ways and makes for a really blank canvas. But again, I'm wearing a size large because even though I could easily wear a medium, I don't want to. I don't want it to be skin tight. I want it to feel more like a t-shirt. And I don't tuck, uh, button them either usually. You can totally, and if I buttoned it, it would definitely pull tighter. So that would be a good look for you if that's what you're looking for, maybe with fitted pants or something. But I don't have it currently buttoned and that kind of gives it more of that blousey feel. Beautiful, just rib knit. And you can even see um, the little bit of like, it, it's just a little bit of a pattern if you get it close up. This is probably one of the most comfortable tops I've tried on this season yet. So this is definitely a good purchase. And let me check size ranges for you. I believe they come in extra small to double XL. So you definitely have a wide variety of size ranges. And again, you can wear this as fitted or as loose as you'd like. Uh, if you wanna know what the back of this uh, suit looks like, Target did not hold back this year. <laughs> so you can see full on what the back of this bodysuit looks like. It's pretty crazy. So I'll leave that to the professionals. But yeah, super cute. And I love all the color options. Again, I was purposely going for monochrome, but let's style these shorts a different way. Here is my total idea of vacation ready. I'm ready to go hands-free. I've got a loose, flowy, but yet super comfortable top that doesn't just feel like a giant t-shirt. I have this um, from my Walmart haul. Oh my goodness, this piece has become the quickest staple in my wardrobe, and it's a top that I had shied away from for years with this style. I guess I just thought that I would look like I was wearing a maternity top. But at the end of the day, I think it really creates balance. And so what I did here was, again, put it on with my snake print backpack bag, threw it on over the shorts. So this is one of my ways that I'm realizing helps me to feel more confident uh, with wearing shorts is that I at least now don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of skin tight things and have to be standing perfectly all the time. Um, if my shorts do get a little funky or they're moving on me or whatever, you can't tell because I'm wearing just such a loose, flowy, breezy, breezy top. And then I also paired it with a nude color sandal so that it just keeps going with my leg. It's not cutting it off anywhere. Again, you could easily wear it with white tennies or something like that. This next t-shirt is what I would call an elevated t-shirt and these are pieces that I look for because they are literally t-shirts and they are so comfortable. You can wear them um, season after season if you take care of them and they don't have to cost a lot of money, but yet they don't look like the typical like t-shirt that you got at the you know last event you went to. That I like to look for little details. So this one is by A New Day. It comes in nine color options. So you can certainly find some to fit your wardrobe and whatever you know spaces you need to fill within your you know capsule wardrobe if you're building one. And I have mine in a size small because it's a boxier fit. It's uh, again, $10, I don't know if I said that or not. Super comfortable, I believe it comes in sizes extra small to double X, uh, excuse me, double XL. So you have definitely a really good size range there. Uh, again, what I love about this is, and I chose this color because it's a little bit of a muted watermelon-y uh, pink color. I might come off a little brighter on the camera screen, but I love these fun colors, especially for spring and summer. They kind of add a, a little bit of a pop to my wardrobe. So I just have it paired with 
um, these casual pants that I showed you a little bit earlier, but I love this because then if I throw on a jean jacket and I have my hat on, it gives a little bit of life and um, breathes some color into my face. Um, but again, they have white and black and all the basics as well if you're needing more of those. So this top, just soft, wonderful, light, nice weight t-shirt. So it's not, some of the t-shirts you find for a really good deal at these stores are um, just not made well. This is, and I love this soft texture of it. I love that it has this like more of a cap sleeve. I'm always looking for cap sleeves and uh, different details. So I love that. And I love that um, it, it's more of a boxy fit again. This is a size small, so you definitely you know need to know that um, it is a little bit of a looser fit, but again, even there, if you had it out, it has this tiny little detail as well. So it kind of elevates your shirt, makes it look a little bit more expensive or more thought out than an average t-shirt. Uh, so if you wanted it even boxier, you could size up one and it would just literally probably fit straight across. Um, but again, it does have a little bit of a cut in if you can see that. So a little bit more of a feminine detail. And again, with this, it kind of is creating that even on its own, even untucked. Um, I just kind of tuck it in. But uh, the cap sleeve is not too puffy, so I could easily throw a jacket over it. Uh, this could go under a blazer or any kind of a cardigan as well without any issues. So really great price, really great deal. I love this for just basics. Next up is this beautiful camisole. They came out with these and some really beautiful colors this season. It is 100% polyester, but it is a much thicker feel and it has just a lovely sheen to it like a satin, no, more like a silk actually, not a satin. Uh, they do have adjustable straps. I'm wearing a size small in this and I do have the straps adjusted pretty high up just because that's where my comfort zone lays for you know leaning forward and whatnot. You would obviously need to wear um, like a sticky bra or something of that sort uh, to you know hide anything that you needed to hide there. But it's um, just completely loose and open, has you know a perfect camisole kind of pajama top feel. Again, just that little slit on the side. So if I wanted to leave it open, I easily could. But because of the length of it, it could easily be tucked in all the way around. Beautiful color options. Let's get you some information. $18. It comes in size extra small to double XL. And did I say six color options? This last clothing piece is what I'm gonna be talking about, but hang with me. I have about three different accessory pieces that I found at Target that I'll be sharing with you right after this. This is an, a New Day ribbed tank top. I believe it comes in eight color options. I paid a whopping $6 for it. It's full price eight, but they were having a sale, so you can't beat a sale, right? Love this tank top. Again, it's a much more elevated style for a tank top. Uh, fair warning though, um, you definitely have to wear like a racer back or a strapless um, bra with it. I do have a racer back on and I'm not really having any issues, but if you look at the side, um, it can cut in a little bit for some people. So if you see that, you have to be kind of careful. So I obviously didn't adjust my racer back properly. Um, also, if I was wearing a medium, it would probably pull a little tighter. So I went ahead and chose the large anyway. Um, again, I'm just really into comfort, <laughs> but the medium would have fit just fine. So I would say it's true to size. I just, I'm sizing up on everything these days. I don't know, um, but I love it. And I'll show you the back. So the back does have a little bit of a cutout. And again, I just paired it with these really, just these pants, I can't get enough of these pants. I put it on with the white um, puffy sandals that I got from Walmart. And let me just give you a quick thing here. I literally am wearing a $6 tank top and I've got all my little accessories. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for this hat just to make all the white and the black go together. This entire outfit costs like $80, you guys. You know, sometimes if you're in a splurge mode, like I said, my one hat costs full price $80, but I feel like I don't look like I paid under $100 for this outfit. I feel like I could hang anywhere and everywhere in this and really be confident. So I'm just having so much fun looking for basics that are, you know, classic, that are gonna go from season to season, help me to feel my best and be able to not spend a lot of money wearing them. So loving this look, I love this tank top, and this is definitely for the heart of <laughs> summer for many of us. 
this. But again, because it is higher necked and because it does have a little bit of that, you could easily throw this underneath anything, which I've been saying over and over and over again. You just want to get the most mileage out of your pieces. I love kind of looking at the belts in Target. They come out with new ones every season. They have some very classic and beautiful ones, but then once in a while they get a little trendy and you know, it's kind of fun to just try it out. So this is $18. It is a new day and I did get a size medium and I did go for this just to show you. Um, it's that braided look and it is that lilac color with a silver buckle detail. Super soft and comfortable and the fun about this is even if you got a larger, your larger size, you don't have to punch holes in these braided belts because the little hook goes, or the little pointer goes straight into the braid. So, and it's also very soft and pliable. So if you needed to get a larger belt and then do the knotting, this would go really well without sticking out straight. And I loved that it was lilac on both sides. So I did look for details like quality and that type of thing so that uh, I could wear this multiple ways. Now you're thinking, why would you buy a lilac colored belt? Well, if you watched my other videos and you uh, maybe, or maybe have a piece like this on your own already, this was that free assembly all navy dress and it just has an elasticized waist. But if you put this belt over it, it would just be so pretty and it would actually add such a fun detail to your outfit. And I love, 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 I know it's a little hard to see, but I love navy and lilac. So I really specifically had this dress and I had this jumpsuit in mind when I purchased the lilac. This jumpsuit, oh, of course I have it hung wrong, is the one from my loft haul that is that beautiful jersey knit, full length um, V-neck jumpsuit. Now again, this has a removable belt, so if I put the lilac belt on it, it instantly elevates it, pulls it up, and just draws your eye to your waist. So I thought this would be really fun with a lot of the solid color pieces that we've been collecting over these last few hauls. The other things I wanna talk about are hair pieces. All right, I the one thing I will say, I'm going to jump back in on the claw clip train. <laughs> I know we tried to get away from these, but they just work. And I think I've always secretly had a few stashed in my drawer. And you know, we all use them. We're just gonna have to find better creative ways to, you know, make them look a little cuter this time around, right ladies? But on top of the claw clips, which they have a million choices, I found these and I love the idea of them because if you are not a person who wants to get super into the trends or the color of the year, but you want to kind of think like give it a nod or say, you know, I, I'm not totally indifferent or it's not that I don't pay attention. I just choose not to wear it. You can purchase items like these and you can hook them onto your bags. Uh, maybe if you have one of those like basket woven totes for the summer or just a really cute, there's just a lot of beautiful canvas totes that are really on trend right now. Um, you know, it could be anything. We could grab any, 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 any purse. Let's just say, I'm gonna go total Easter egg on you. Um, that I have a pink purse and pink's not really the color, but hey, guess what? What if I just attach this little hair clip and now I have this like super cute, really, really uber fun feminine little handbag and I got a nod to the color of the season in it. And you could do this with anything, navy, black, tan, whatever you have, just to kind of judge it up a little bit. Um, you could also, if you don't have like space to put the clip on, something I love that's also super functional is this, and I believe this was like $8. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price. A new day, $8 for this, and it's one of those true clips that has like the metal clip. So hey, go for it. Put it in your hair if you want to. Do whatever you want with it. But I just think that it's a beautiful thing to add, you know, a detail to one of your bags. Um, or you could go this route. I believe this was also $8. I'll put the link below. This has that eyelet kind of material and it's a scrunchie. So it makes life even easier. And if you're at the beach or on vacation in a pinch, you have a scrunchie on hand, but you can also, what I like to do with these, is I just take it and I loop it. And then if you have like a really fun one, you just sort of play with it in whatever way you want. And I'm just using this bag as an example. I wouldn't necessarily put it on here, but you can put it on whatever bag you have and have it kind of hanging. But yet because it's a total like secure scrunchie, you know, when you try to tie your 
um, other handkerchiefs and things on there, a lot of times they slide off because of the way you can knot a scrunchie, it stays. And then when it gets hot during the day or your you know child needs their hair pulled up because it got crazy and you have to go to lunch, then you automatically have a cute little trendy scrunchie to put into your hair and you know, knot it up in there and then you're ready to go. Thank you so much for taking the time. As always, I really appreciate your support. Make sure that you hit a like and subscribe if this is the type of video that you like to watch. It just helps me to understand moving forward what videos to make. Again, everything is listed in the description box below if you're looking for any of the information, sizing, my sizing, everything else. And I really enjoyed this Target haul. I feel like I found a lot of staple pieces that would be able to stay in a wardrobe year in and year out and be worn multiple ways for multiple seasons. All right, question of the day, if you're still here, do you like trends or are you like, nope, I'm classic all the way or I stick to my style? Let me know in the comments below. See you soon.